here's an area where um, I know Jack shit about, but let's talk about, you know, private <laughs> funding in the tech market. There was a quote in the New York Times article in the week uh, quoting uh, Crunchbase that in Q3, private tech funding was about $81 billion, down 53% year over year. Um, what's going on? Is, is it just that the, um, is it valuations? Is it like, you know, a lot of companies just kind of being hesitant to do down rounds? Like what, what's kind of your general take, you know, that you saw in Q3? I I suspect it's likely to continue to play out that way into Q4. But as you and I have talked about a lot, there was a lot of capital raised, right, um, in the VC landscape, you know, um, late last year, early this year that needs to be deployed. Yeah, I, I, we have been having this conversation a lot with our LPs as well as with our founders to kind of explain try to explain what's going on in the market. And, you know, I'm, we're in the middle of it. Um, I, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but we are in the middle of it. And here, here's my take in Q one of this year, you still had people doing financings that were at the tail end of last year's valuation. So there was still a bit of a frothy market that then created sort of an artificial belief that the VC market was still red hot in Q one when I think it was already cool, cooling considerably Q2, public market valuations settle in. People realize, okay, wait a minute, we can't pay 50 times ARR for these growth stage private companies that are going to go public at six times ARR. In Q3, you really saw that hit home. And so I just think we're still in the early days. We're probably in the second or third inning of the valuation reset in private markets. I will tell you, in our own, in, you know, in my own universe, um, I didn't make a single new investment in a new company in the first nine months of this year. Now, I did several follow-on investments, but um, we didn't make a single new investment because there was just this huge valuation mismatch. I mean, literally companies coming in with four or five million of ARR wanting $450, $500 million valuations. And I'm trying to explain to them that their public comp at $300 million of ARR is trading at you know, $1.2 billion. So we just have had a big disconnect in the market and it normally takes a while to work itself through. It has now worked itself through. And a lot of these companies that raised in, in the summer of 2021 now need to raise capital because they have less than 12 months of, of runway. And so we're starting to see some really attractive opportunities. And I think you'll see, I think you'll see more financings get done in Q4 and Q1. They're just going to be at, at valuation levels that are back to, by the way, all, all we're going back to is 2019, which was a quote unquote normal era. If you just look at the spike in valuations, um, in fact, I've got a chart right in front of me. You know, back in um, 2018, the average high growth software, so the top 10, top five high growth software companies were trading at about 15 times next 12 months revenue. And just to give you a, a sense of how crazy that got, in late 21, it was 65 times next 12 months for the top five software companies. Those are down now to 16. So we went from you know literally 15 to 65 down to 16. So we're, we're kind of getting back into a normalized territory. And I think you're going to see a lot more financings get done. The other thing we've been sharing with folks is it's a phenomenal time to be a growth stage founder because the public market is now telling you exactly what you have to build. Whereas last year, the market was so distorted, it was really hard. If you were running a 40 or $50 million software business, it was really hard to try and figure out like, what should I be building? Should I be building a go for broke, grow at 100% a year, burn a $100 million business? Because that's what it looks like the market is rewarding. Or should I be building a business that's capital efficient and could be profitable when it goes public? And the example I always give folks is Viva. Viva is a vertical software business in the farm industry, terrific company. It raised $8 million of venture capital prior to going public and went public as a profitable software company. It can be done. And that company today is worth well over $10 billion. So I think we're just going to go back to a mode where the, the playbook for founders is much more clear than it was in 2021. And if you're running a 25 to $75 million business today, you get to reset the operating model for your company, recruit in the kind of executives that want to help you build that company and build a company that can go public in two or three years. And I think it's going to be a very attractive IPO market for those folks in 24 and 25. 